what's up loyal lifestyle family this is um not such a good day today uh as we told you all in the beginning you know every day is not going to be uh, happy it's not going to always be exciting and things are not always going to be funny you know unfortunately today you know ray experienced some illness and we think it's maybe because of something he may have consumed or was exposed to uh yesterday if you all recall during our last episode, Ray said something to the effect that his throat was hurting, um, and unfortunately, it manifested in some, into some type of sickness today. Um, I'm going to be calling home in a, in a few minutes to check on him to make sure everything is good. And uh, you know, I received a, 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 a text from his mother today, and you know, Alicia was feeling, you know, she was feeling a little under the weather herself, um, not just because of her physical illness or nothing like that, but because of you know, Ray in and of itself. So, you know, I, I just wanted to share this thing with you all. Like I said, we're going to be as open as possible with you guys. Um, we thank you for being with us, you know, experiencing us, subscribing to us, and, you know, recognizing that we are a genuine family. Um, I'm currently at work right now, and my break is almost over. So I'll be getting ready to go in pretty soon, but I'm going to, you know, let you in on our communication with one another with one another in relation to Ray and what he's going through and then we'll get get a chance to get back to you all a little later on peace I mean I've never I've never known him to be sick like that so I mean like just, okay tell me from the beginning like what what like what happened he woke up this morning like what happened well, he, he woke up this morning she got in the bed now he woke up this morning he did my door was closed I guess he thought because I had one back to sleep he called me my son in the room Remember last night he said his throat was hurting too. He said that. Yeah. So then I said, okay. And he started crying. I said, so then I was like, okay. I looked up the early chair they opened at 9. It was like 8 30. I said, okay. So then I got up. I said, put on your clothes. And he like, he laid on the floor. And he was like, I can't, I'm weak. And I'm like, what? And it's like, he couldn't even put his clothes on. He was just too weak. He couldn't brush his teeth. He laid on the bathroom floor. And I was like, mm -hmm. And then we got ready. And uh, we walked downstairs. And we got in the car. And he didn't say nothing about feeling like he had to throw up. And then next thing I know, I was getting ready to put the car in reverse, and he jumped out, and he just was just throwing up, just, it was just a lot. Then I had to, like, put the car in park and get out and just go around to the other side and pat his back. But it was, like, coming. It was just coming like a force. It was all young, though. Wow. And then when we got to the early uh, kid, he did it, like, another six or seven times. And then it was so bad that they was like, well, we don't have to give him a shot just to calm his stomach because, you know, I mean, did, was he acting like himself? Like when, when, when you saw him this morning, no. he immediately it was immediately just throwing up. Like was it? Yeah, it was immediately. So what was the first things that you said to him this morning? Like you just went to check on him. I mean, how did that happen? No, he he woke up and called me because my door was closed. I came back to sleep when you left. Mm -hmm. So I guess he wanted to, you know, you know, see if I was here. He knew you had to go to work. So he called me and he was like, "Mom, I'm sick." So he like came here to tell me he was sick. She like got to be here with me like I'm sick. I'm, I'm weak. I'm out. You know, I'm sick. Yeah. 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 Where's where where's he at right now? He in the bed. He just I, she just went back to sleep, but I had to pull all the stuff after So so he asleep again? She just went back to sleep, but he just woke up and went up again. And I had to pull everything off the bed. Then I put like uh, some plastic over his mattress. Then I put it back in his bed. If he waking up out of sleep, right. I don't want to, I want to throw it in the bed, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, I understand. Yeah, I've never known him to be sick like that, so. Wow. Well, look, you don't, 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 you worry, just, you know, you're there with him, so just, you know, do what you can as his mother, you know what I'm saying? Just make him feel better, whether you go in there and rub him, kiss him, you know, do what you feel, yeah, to, you know what I mean, to nurture him and make him feel better because, I mean, I don't think, you know, the bottom line is he's going to be like that until he gets over whatever illness he's facing, so, 
you can't force it and you can't rush it. We don't even really know what the whole thing is. We're just looking at the symptoms. We don't know what the stomach virus is. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we do. So. Yeah, he'll be okay. He's a tough kid. Then, by him being young, his immune system is really strong. So, it'll fight off whatever type of illness he's facing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then he's so damn skinny. You know. Anything he he recur, regurgitates or you know ejects or expels from his body, he's gonna have to replenish it with something else. Well, I said, what's the answer to this? But it's crazy because um, my Facebook memories came up on my phone, right? Mm -hmm. Why today this very issue came up on my phone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why today? This very day. The day you got food poisoning? The day I got sick and food poisoning. Wow. And I was in the hospital, so and when that popped up on my phone, I was like, hell. So to my son, though, a year later. Wow. So like, that was I, I remember when you sent me that too. That sent me that picture when you was in the house. Yeah. yeah. I had put a stand on there. But I woke up feeling dizzy, sick, and Ray Ray is Ray Ray today. So you know the devil's just dizzy, but um, he'll be okay. He'll be alright. Yeah, he definitely gonna be okay. No doubt about it. Yeah. He's gonna be so, alright. So you want to say 3.30? Yeah, I get off at 3.30 today. I'm just uh, sitting in the car eating on my lunch break. Got a few minutes to spare. I want to call and check on you and Ray, make sure y'all was good. Everything so far so good. Everything is peace. You know, um, um, you know, I had to pretty much run the whole uh, assembly line today. I'm doing a really good job. Um, one person came over to help me. Um, but for the most part, I had it under control, so... She went down to the other end and, you know, worked down there with the other guys. And like I said, I'm, I'm handling it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm confident because I'm familiar with the process now. Now, when I first started working, it was a little bit uncomfortable for me because I was constantly having to ask questions. How do you do this? Where, where does this go? And all that type of stuff. But, you know, I catch on quick. So by me, you know, already knowing what's going on, I mean, shoot, I'm, I'm, I'm handling it like a champ, you know? Seems like the day going by pretty fast too. Yep. It's all good though. Yeah. I just want you to know I love you, tell Ray I love him. And um everything is good. I'll be home as soon as I get off and hopefully he's feeling better. If not, then you know we'll do everything we can to you know, make him feel better. And like I said, you don't worry about washing no clothes, none of that stuff. I um I'll take care of that when I get home. You just focus on Ray right now. I love you too, baby. And that's how I go, you know. It's um, it's one of those things that we talked about, you know, or what we explained when we first began, you know, um, doing our YouTube channel. We said that, you know, things are not always going to be happy. Things are not always going to be um, the best. But this is one of those situations excuse me, that's real, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get through it, unfortunately, Ray must have consumed something, or, or been exposed to something, um, and he's become very ill, so ill that he actually had to go to urgent care today with his mom, um, fortunately, she didn't have to work today, otherwise, that could have been a tragic situation where she would have had to take off, and, you know, attended to Ray, but, um, Everything works out the way that it's supposed to. Um, but once again, I just want to say, you know, we appreciate you all for, you know, subscribing and, you know, being a part of our lives. Uh, checking us out, checking in on us, and just experience some re experiencing some real things. You know, sometimes, you know, people go on YouTube channels and it's all about play and games and jokes and pranks. And, you know, everyone has their niche. Everyone has their... Um, things that they would like to display to the world we just prefer to be real and demonstrate what uh, loyal uh, lifestyle is really all about this is a loyal lifestyle family and when we say loyal 
we're not just loyal to one another in the sense of family. We're loyal to our jobs. We are loyal to our children. We are loyal to life. And, um, you know, like I said, we just appreciate you all um, on every level. And we ask that you continue to watch us, continue to follow us and support us uh, as well. If you have any uh, suggestions or comments, post them. And we'll see y'all soon. Peace. Okay, uh, so I just just pulled up, came from the gas station. Um after getting off of work, I'm finna get ready to go in here and see my family, man. I've been thinking about Ray all day, and I know he's kind of sick. I just got off the phone with Alicia, and she said he's doing a little bit better. So, went to the gas station, and I got him his favorite snack of all time. Hershey's cookies and cream. If this don't cheer him up, nothing is going to cheer him up. So, hopefully, he'll, you know, be receptive to um, these treats and you know hope that he feel a little bit better and uh, look forward to him getting back on track because he's really he's really the, the, the life of our household he, he he's always making something happy I'm just gonna say that so get ready to go in here and um, see about my little man you know yeah See y'all on the inside. So I just came in and uh, the little one ain't doing so good. I was gonna try to, you know, uh, you know, share some, some intimate moments with him, but he's really, really sick. So I definitely didn't want to, you know, violate his personal space and privacy, you know, based off of, uh, you know, his condition. So his mom's up there with him. You know, making sure he's all right. So I came down here to do the rest of the laundry for her. We got a party. I'm kind of getting these clothes out of the washing machine. Um, but I think he's going to be all right. But um, I can also tell you he's very, very ill. And uh, he's not going to be able to participate today at all. And rightfully so I think you should just chill uh, you know get yourself back on, on track um, this is one of those days that make me feel so hopeless and or helpless you know as a as a father because the truth of the matter is you know I'm supposed to be his protector you know sorry about that just want y'all know these ain't no boogers I've been welding all day, and so the fire and the flames from that spark has a tendency to make my skin peel. But, um, you know, I feel like I'm supposed to protect him and, uh, you know, make sure he's safe and he's, you know, well. But uh, unfortunately, I can't really do anything about his illness right now. So, you know, I gave you all my word that I would, you know, enlighten you all about what's going on. And, I'm gonna make sure I stay tuned. But as for right now, I'm gonna sign off and uh, you know, finish washing these clothes and everything. Then I'll get back to tending and ready. And once he's up and feeling better, then we'll check back in. Um, once again, I appreciate you all for subscribing. Appreciate you all for um, you know just being a part of our journey and being a part of our mission and being a part of our uh, Facebook page as a whole. So. Facebook pages, uh, YouTube, all of our social media, period. So, you know, I'm going to sign off on that note and we'll get back with y'all soon. Peace. What's up, Loyal Lifestyle family? This your boy, Vic. Hey, it's your girl, Leash. What's up, y'all? Yeah, no, you know, we just came to... You know what? Guess who else decided to join the party? <laughs> What's up, Loyal Lifestyle family? It's your boy, Ray. Hey y'all, what's up? What's up, man? You know, earlier the other day we were talking and uh, you know, Ray was feeling a little bit under the weather, man. We didn't know if he was gonna be able to make it today, but uh fortunately he came through in the final hours like he always do. Yes. He woke up out of that deep sleep and was ready to rock and roll like he yes, do when he be playing yes. his sports games and all of that. But yeah, uh, you know, take it over, Ray. What's up? What you got to say? How you today? feeling, babe? I'm feeling better. 
You feeling better? A lot better. Yeah. Earlier today, he woke up. He was throwing up. He was weak. So I took him to the hospital, and basically, they were saying that he had the stomach flu or some of that nature. So you know, mommy had to go into mommy mode mode and mm-hmm. get him all the she way together. Like so now he's good. Give me a kissy book. Mm, you feel better? Yeah. So what's up, man? Talk to the people. I mean, everybody been missing you today. You know what I'm saying? You was out of action. I uh, I spoke a little bit on your behalf early when I was at work, and I spoke a little bit on your behalf when I came home. I thought we was going to be able to share some moments, but you was just so sick earlier today. I was like, no, I ain't going to mm-hmm. do that to him. You know what I mean? So, so you want to tell them thank you for their prayers? Thank you for your support and prayers. Thank you. You just do not still sound like yourself. You ain't 100%, but you almost there. Right. So we just wanted to come on and say thank you all. And um, I know my babe was blogging about it earlier today. And um, yeah. just want to let you all know we appreciate the love. And um, continue to follow us, share, and we'll be back soon. Peace. Most definitely. Peace. Bye. Peace.